Hey guys, this is J this is Bass Fishing Boys, and that's Jared. He's part of our team. He's gonna go stairs. But um, this is my spider wire spider wire tackle bag. Um, I got it for fifty bucks at Walmart or something like that. But in the front pocket, I had Bass Pro uh, grips, and then the paper towel. And then I'll open it up. And this is my confidence box. I take it wherever. Because I know that I can catch fish on whatever's in here. So I have a zoom, horny toad, and tree frog, a tomato lizard, zoom lizard. Uh, brush hog the full size. Um, I think this is a Bass Pro jig with a trailer on it. It's starting to rust actually. Um, here's my Kevin Van Dam square bill. This thing catches a lot of fish. Luke, a craw, just a Bass Pro crankbait, a Havoc Pit Boss, Gary Yamamoto Cinco, Power Bait Worm, and Tequila Sunrise. And then I have, ow, that hurt. Um, Trocar hooks and then some red Bass Pro Shops hooks. Um, this is just some of my plastic bait. Um, just assorted Cinco's. Uh, tomato lizards. Flukes. Pit bosses. Just little trailers. Um, a tube that I got for my brother. Um, pumping toads and horny toads. Assorted lizards. More flukes. Then some of my favorite power bait. The Takeda Sunrise. Then some craws that I got for my brother. I got a lot of stuff from him. He has a lot of stuff. This is my hard bait box. Get that back. Click it with this. There's a couple of lipless hard baits. A hula popper. And then this Bass Pro Perch. Or bluegill kind of bait. I think it's like 12 bucks. Um, spinner bait with a Oh wait! Oh, that's a spinner bait and a buzz bait. Buzz bait's right there. Um, and I forgot what to call this. Chatter bait. And then my spinner bait. And here's all my cum and crank crank baits. Oh yeah, and a bomber crank bait right there. Square bills. Um, this little cricket grasshopper that I've had forever. I think this is a bomber. Um, fat A. And then this is a pad crasher frog. A scum frog. That might be a Bass Pro jerk bait, jerk bait. Um, a Bass Pro Shops jig. Just little weird things. And then, another Bass Pro jig. Another Bass Pro jig. So that's my hard bait and 
jig box. Then this is the terminal tackle. Um, bobbers. Like spoons. Um, leaders for catfishing. They're 50, 50 pound, I think. Bobbers. Jig heads and catfish. More bobbers. These are octopus hooks from Gamagatsu. They're pretty sharp. Then all my trocar hooks. All of them. And then these are Bass Pro Spinner Bait trailers. Then catfish hooks. These things are huge. Just some old hooks that I have. Bass Pro hooks. These are wobble heads. They're pretty cool. They look like snakes when they go through the water. You can get them at Wobblehead, the website. Then some bullet sinkers. Just little assorted sinkers. And that one. So that's terminal tackle. And then the last one. It's just the crack down. And I use Oh yeah, here's brush hogs. The full size brush hogs. Um, another lizard. I think this is, this might possibly be the one that I caught an eight pound catfish on. It might be, because I caught an eight pound catfish on lizards. It's pretty weird. These are wobblehead worms. Little crappie uh I'm not sure what they are. Grubs and a little walleye jig. Um, that's almost it. I have some plastic bait in here. Power bait, tequila sunrise. I like those things. They stink though, which is good. Five inch tiki stick and red shad. Won't focus, but they're wave worms. And then some power bait, power craws, and green pumpkin. for that that I have. Then back here, I have a cheap $1 Walmart knife. Some pliers. Tape measure sunscreen. Um, it's almost it. It's getting long, but I have my Bass Pro Scale. It works pretty good. And then my fillet knife. I don't really need to keep that in there, but I do. And then catfish skinning tools that have been used in a fire line. How to tie a palm or not. And then this is a trialing knot. But. Yeah, well, I think I have one. Yeah, just little hooks. But yeah, thanks guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.